Promise kept, Trump makes huge move to erase Obama's legacy. The key appeal of candidate Donald Trump was his promise to immediately roll back the disastrous legacy of President Barack Obama. This week, President Trump weakened Obama's green empire. According to The Washington Times, the Environmental Protection Agency said this week that they plan on formally repealing Obama's Clean Power Plan CPP. Such a move is designed to directly appeal to coal miners in Appalachia and factory workers in the Midwest, Northeast, and South. Under the CPP, carbon emissions were sharply reduced, power plants were kept on a tight leash regarding carbon emissions, and the use of coal and other fossil fuels was severely limited. The Trump administration and EPA administrator Scott Pruitt consider the CPP to be unnecessarily draconian. Also, by eliminating the CPP, the Trump administration hopes to reduce energy costs for everyday Americans just before winter arrives. A leaked memo lays out the EPA's new approach in full, stating, The EPA proposes to determine that the CPP is not within Congress's grant of authority to the agency under the governing statute. It is not in the interests of the EPA, or in accord with its mission of environmental protection consistent with the rule of law, to expend its resources along the path of implementing a rule, receiving and passing judgment on state plans, or promulgating federal plans in furtherance of a policy that is not within the bounds of our statutory authority. The CPP has yet to go into effect. If the Trump administration has its way, it never will. On the legal front, Trump's CPA is said to argue that the CPP violated U.S. law. Specifically, the EPA believes that the CPP violates the EPA's own Clean Air Act. The Clean Power Plan departed from this practice by instead setting carbon dioxide emission guidelines for existing power plants that can only realistically be affected by measures that cannot be employed to, for, or at a particular source. The Trump administration also believes that the CPP would force the EPA to violate its legal authority through generation shifting and actions taken across the electrical grid. On a broader level, the new EPA approach aligns with President Trump's attempts to reform the tax code and fix America's broken immigration system. Under Obama, all three issues essentially passed the buck on to later generations, thus forcing them to deal with a stagnating economy a labyrinthine tax law, and a demographic revolution that would ensure democratic power for future decades, if not centuries. The scrapping of the CPP would undoubtedly be met with howls of rage by climate change scientists and proponents of green energy. For such people, this ruling, along with President Trump's decision to leave the Paris Climate Accord, is tantamount to accelerating the coming of the apocalypse. For President Trump space, the dismissal of the CPP will be greeted with applause. After all, President Obama's restrictions on coal and carbon emissions helped to cripple heavy industry in those parts of the country that were already struggling economically. Without the CPP, maybe a glimmer of the heavy industry can return to this country. Country.